Here's another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Today we're going to shift gears and talk about TIG welding gloves and mainly a new product that makes any TIG welding glove better. Because TIG welding gloves are thin. They have to be thin so you can feel the wire and feel what's going on and be dexterous and be able to manipulate things. But that makes them not very heat resistant. So the TIG finger heat shield, when put on a finger of any thin, weld, uh, thin TIG welding glove, just makes it better because you can rest your finger or your pinky or your knuckle against uh, hot metal and uh, be comfortable, not have to stop welding and uh, shake the glove off to keep from getting burned. If you're a TIG welder, you know what I'm talking about. You've had burns on your pinky and on your knuckles and on every knuckle and everywhere else. So the TIG finger heat shield especially excels for welding pipe and tubing because sometimes you have to prop your finger right next to where the weld is and you have to have a steady hand because a steady hand just welds better. You've got to keep that arc length steady and tight and in order to do that, you got to be steady and, and you can't be, you can't be uh, trembling because your hands burn. For aluminum parts, aluminum parts get hot. They get hot quick and it makes it downright uncomfortable. If you take a TIG finger and slip on your finger, because it's made of such heat resistant material and because it's so slick, you're able to hold the torch, prop right next to the hot metal on the weld, and slide that torch along just like you need to. Nice and steady. You can travel long distances without stopping. You would otherwise have to get some kind of block of wood or a ball of tape to, to rest your uh, elbow or your arm on, and you wouldn't be as steady. You can use your imagination with this thing. If you've got an upright member, you can just shift the grip of the torch and drag it right along there. And, and so just whatever, there's always a way to put the TIG finger on and prop next to the metal. It goes on your pinky or any other finger, whatever, whichever position uh, you choose to hold the torch in, there's a way to put it on a finger and make it work. Now, like I said, there's no point in giving this thing a bunch of hypey sales pitch. You can see in about two minutes that uh, it's going to solve a problem that you've had if you're a TIG welder, and that's your knuckles getting hot all the time. So that's the TIG Finger Heat Shield. Thanks for watching WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.